The Major with him. Those knots are now gone. Vatira has made his intentions pretty clear, and as expected, he wants to win. Um, he always wants to win, and they're off a, a pretty bad start, actually, as Seiko stop bins a shot from the halfway line. Love that pass from Monkey Man. Called early, infield, off the sidewall. 1 0 BDS. I think Exotic wasn't expected. Well, for BDS, they have been the dominant team so far in this game, but that can change so oh. quickly. Exotic knew where he wanted it, and Vatira happy to deliver. And Seiko just couldn't turn quickly enough there. He had to really. You'd have to say, Carmicorp look like this slightly better team. BDS are right there with him. It's not by much, but it's inevitable. Oh, look at this all of a sudden, though. Against the run of play, extra snipes Seiko waiting in the middle. That was just a mistouch from Itachi. Needed to keep that one within his control and stead straight over into the path. Minimum need to make the final as of right now, but of course, if G1 make the final before the BDS play tomorrow, then BDS need to win the whole thing. So it's all about, oh, outperform G1. Oh, they're not going to get this one clear. Exotic capitalizes on some chaos at the near post. Once again, BDS all tangled up in the corner. And uh, it looked like a risky position every time they've ended up there. This time it does not work. Why he decided to play the ball, he could have just ran ahead demo the goalie. Oh, actually, that looked like it might have been somewhat available there was for BDS as well. A couple of opportunities squandered, and they do remain tied. Monkey Moon trying to find one final opportunity for his squad, but instead... He turns! And Seiko covers him just in time! Brilliant snipe, and stays off the back of Vatera just oh, to wow. finish! He's gonna do it every day. And it was just one misstep caused chaos. Oh, just, uh, a massive play from Itachi. He beats Monkey Moon to the ball, and that's like Monkey Moon who's looked very quick off the mark with his aerials today. <laughs> These I'm, days. I'm still very annoyed at the game three timeout in the previous matchup. That, that one's still sitting with me and exotic. Not gonna have to settle with remembering that double tap anymore. Gets the ball to land to him, and yet again, it's Oh Itachi. my. It's another 1v2 play from Itachi. He just... Itachi up, wins the challenge. Who's the first to it? And Vatira comes in very late. Actually, he's left the goal oh. open. Vatira, oh. what was this decision? Yeah, it's not a position you expect to see him making a mistake in. He's completely alone at the back, but he just... He decided to just make the immediate play. And you should be doing fine. It's actually then dives towards the ball, keeps the ball up. He's been out playing everybody. Exotic to turn it in. Oh, oh, oh. That's been the combination all day. It's actually just lobbing it up to Exotic, popping it in field to Exotic, off the backboard to Exotic. Here, there. Mentality's been in question, even this weekend. Oh, that's the double commit. As the communication falling apart for BDS, it's a problem we've seen all event and all split. BDS, when things go wrong, they go really wrong. Sierra gets a very easy goal there. I mean, BDS. Well, I feel bad that that one's not gone in because that was ridiculous. Yeah, it's a great effort by Monkey Moon. He was trying to follow through that flip reset with a dunk, but Exotic has popped it wide of him. And another instance of brilliant defense from Carmen Corp's Exotic. He's having a great series for himself. He has just, in regulation time, dropped 909 points on BDS. In fact, he might get another one at the end. You notice that I think it's a 909 point game. Recovery game he has had from those walls has been ridiculous and it keeps catching BDS out. But Tira looking for oh. top pins and he's gonna find them. Yeah, it's pretty simple for Vatira, just beats extra to the ball, dodges the demo, flicks it over Seiko, and uh, gets it into the top corner with of it. But it's also not something that he wishes he had to do well at, especially in a game that he is currently chasing. Exotic has been oh. beat. Oh, oh that did it. What? Well, I know Exotic has been automatic in these positions, but maybe too much trust. Oh, it was Vatira thought Exotic got a piece of the ball there. He been getting looks in that you wouldn't expect to see, although Vatira delays. And now it's a chase back to the blue side of the field. Vatira should win that pretty handily. Have they got one more shot at this? Ceiling reset goes low. Again, well played by Extra, who has kept his team in it defensively. It's a pro for it, though. Monkey Moon has to turn, has to get a good hit on this board as well, otherwise his team's not going to get back in time. Extra oh! Turn second one, oh! and that was not the decision to make.
Exotic dunks on Monkey Moon's touch, beats Dextra to the ball, and then with a quick look behind him, knew that there was no chance that anyone could stop his open net rebound. It has just been a hard one. Top bin. It's just so it's easy for him as well. That's annoying. I, that, that, okay, oh, the wow. are going to score on here. That's good stuff for them because it's easy to get frustrated in positions like this where it's so difficult to score. Um, every time that they get a press forward, it just seems like the... Uh... You would not imagine KC to go an entire game here without scoring. It'll be very risky to settle on this one goal lead as Itachi. Well, there you are. <laughs> BDS have got to go and get another one. It's just exotic to himself. Little double middle. And then Monkey Mid expecting a high shot. Yeah, it's Carl Carmen Carp for doing that brilliantly in this game. All that said, we're still tied. BDS have kept these games closed. And they're going to break the deadlock as well. It's another pass in field. And this time, Monkey Mid is the one to score it. What a shot from Monkey Mid. What a read, considering where that bounced from. That little change up in the air. Already knew where that was going to end up. 47 seconds. BDS looking to add oh. another one. Okay. Wow. Well, well, it's uh, definitely the start of the comeback now. Monkey Moon's pace has been Corp. He's uh, quick up aerial, completely leaving Vatira in the dust for the second goal. Now, quickly centers. Oh, no, can't no, make no speed like this. No oh, there's way. just no way that they can speed like this. They, they just don't want it to be easy, do they? <laughs> I've got nothing. I've got absolutely nothing for that one. That's the save by Exotic. Somehow deflecting the ball into the post. It was destined for the top corner. A BDS have done enough earlier in the game. Monkey Moon will make absolutely sure that they do not get swept today. That's step one. And it was overall a very impressive game from BDS. Clean out plays starting to work. Uh, looks like the Monkey Moon 2v2 grind getting the world record into his MMR has definitely got him mechanically ready for this matchup. He's looked very, very quick to the ball. Um, Can't imagine that's necessarily happening in the best of seven. BDS's last reverse sweep was in Season X against Galaxy Racer. Oh, wow. Ooh, and oh, that's oh, the oh. bottom corner. The reason <laughs> why that was the last reverse sweep they got is because the BDS that I know and love didn't need to reverse sweep teams. Yeah, they, they never started slowly. Maybe some hope for BDS fans and for BDS is that Carmi Corp were reverse swept in the group stage of this very event by Solary. Oh, oh. what is this? Hold on a second here. How's <laughs> Exotic dunked on this one? I mean, I don't think Sikos even made a bad decision here. He's in a 1v2. Ah, oh, he, he might have. Yeah, he, he didn't make a bad decision. Put himself back into this series. But the way BDS has been playing, they don't like that music. They just uh -oh. think kind of like the, uh, oh, the zip away. And there you go, yet another one. It's not going to be easy because BDS won't make it easy on themselves. Yeah, that looked like a pretty risky commit there from Extra. Monkey Moon pretty out of the game. Extra in second. Zero, reset, tries to bump Monkey Moon. He got a piece of him. Seiko back up. It's actually far too quick. And now it's time to go coast to coast with Exotic still putting that pressure on. Monkey Moon keeps the ball in the air. Matera back up. Is this just going to be the end of it? Oh, Seiko tried to oh. does keep the ball alive. That's a great save there from BDS. I mean, just to get the ball airborne. Is about all you can ask her, but it's not.